Senor, overcome by rage. You are a force of destruction. <laughs> Even the mightiest heroes of Earth cannot deter you. The madder you get, the stronger you get, and there is no limit to your rage. We picked your destination carefully. A planet full of vegetation and game. No intelligent life forms. There will be no, no one there to hurt you. And no one you can hurt. Warning. Guidance system offline. Trajectory altered. Settle down, everyone. Settle down. Welcome to this presentation about Planet Hulk. As we have dubbed this planet that the Hulk has landed on after the Illuminati sends him away from Earth for his outrageous actions in Las Vegas. Now, who are we? For those of you who are not well informed, we are the Sentient Weapon Observation and Response Division better known as S.W.O.R.D. We are an extra-governmental intelligence organization dedicated to protecting Earth from both extraterrestrial and extra-dimensional threats. Now, let's get right into it. The point of this is to watch how Hulk develops onto this new realm. Whether this is an extra-dimensional plane or one in our own reality is what you will need to find out while watching these clips. The Hulk clearly, as you will see soon enough, is weaker than he initially was when he was on Earth. But over the course of this, hmm, research project, you will see him gain immense strength. And we need you to figure out either how to get us here or how to replicate these gain of abilities for our soldiers, for our heroes, for protecting Earth. Let's take a look here at how the Hulk uses his anger, uses his rage in battle on this new planet. He throws his large wooden club that he finds and tries to get to highest strength. Trying to avoid direct combat initially with these little tiny brains. But unfortunately, as you can see here, they have range attacks and soon enough, the Hulk gets in close and does what the Hulk always does. At least on Earth, he smashes. But curiously, for those of you watching this clip, let's point it out. After the Hulk defeats these brains and starts searching through them, you will see that his muscles bulge. He gains a small bit of strength, gets enhanced. And it seems that he hasn't completely lost himself to his rage. He tries to in fact gather his inner banner, try to calm his rage self down, tries to play an instrument, but as we could probably guess, the Hulk was never a bard. We have sensors allowing us to see visual, and we also have implants inside of his brain to get us data that normally would not be accessible. But luckily we were able to get this pass, Tony and the rest of the Illuminati, of before sending him off. Things, call it. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you kill the others? In this clip, we can see the Hulk clearly gets easily tricked by the humanoids of this world. There. Thinking he's still can the strongest ever, he's taken down simply just with a knife. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. On Earth, no. the Hulk would normally easily I be able to rip this individual's hands Didn't off, I? but... No. He seems to struggle for quite some time before pulling his strength together and pushing this individual off of them. And then decides it's not worth answering their questions. This place is hostile and he needs no friends. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate and his beast snatched me. The strum and silent tide. All right. At least tell me you at least know something about these worms. No words of wisdom before you go. Sunny. Hmm. 
Well, the Hulk tried to be I'll funny, but this individual doesn't Still realize the same they should just be happy they survived this encounter, as the Hulk behind their back was ready to strike, but thought better of it and found another native. A creature we found out later is called a Mind Flare and ended the dying creature's life. We're not too sure why this initially happened, but Monster. later on, Death you researchers will see crazy. why. He eventually found more of these tentacle abominations. It seemed to be quite a difficult fight for the Hulk. In fact, we at one point thought he went down, was defeated, but maybe there was almost some type of unrelented rage that brought him back. And he was able to survive. He dodged attacks, lost his rage, but even in his weaker form, he was able to slay these mind flares. And somehow, on? once getting near this portal, he gained some strength. Almost became like a giant. He found himself a new path. And then uh -huh. he got asked for help. Anyone? Unfortunately for this individual, the Hulk was too weak. And it took him over 10 minutes to pull this creature out. And luckily for her, she did not lose an arm with all the failures Hulk had to give this day. On, Clearly, this planet has the ability to zap strong creature strength, Go but on. give it back to them Keep over going. time. Oh. Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies, I'm usually better at this. Say, but I'd know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nauseloid as well. And of course, the Hulk drew his weapon. What else would the Hulk do? Whoa, easy does People it. accusing him, you telling really, them they knew really him on the same don't ship. Do that. Not a threat. Just an observation. You're quite And this was a loss. constant thread we saw very, very well, early then. on. People Good kept luck. on mentioning a ship they were on together with the Hulk on. But we don't have any recording of that. Maybe our right. senses were damaged and we lost some of the recording. But I'll watch on here one, how Hulk handles a more intense Ball situation. Right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. Get rid of them. We felt that the Hulk got some type of psionic I message miss. from the woman. And out of nowhere, a fight broke out. The young devil woman attacked the Hulk, harming him. They both were stronger than him. Our sensors revealed that they had some type of abilities, some type of boons, extra health, psionic abilities. One of them was almost immortal for a while. It took quite a long time for the Hulk to actually survive this fight. And he's now even bigger than he was before. This giant in him, this path he's taken, has made him stronger. The branch was not enough still to defeat this devil man. So he actually asked for help. Right, the woman we eventually find out named Lazelle came to his aid, defeating the woman that was attacking the Hulk. She charged into battle slowly but surely and took her out. Hulk doing no damage, Lizelle came in and finished the woman off. But in the Hulk's anger for not being able to get the finishing blow himself, the woman Lizelle that he went ahead to save from the cage, he killed her himself. What a travesty. I think his rage still knows no end, but watch on for now. As it seems that on this planet, there lies some type of scrolls, some type of abilities to bring people back to death. And we will need to research if these are available to us on Earth. That is your first objective. So everybody gather your notes and let me know in the comments if you are a part of this project and would like to see more. Let's reconvene soon.